Hi Church, Pastor Jeff here with another Trinity check-in. Hi friends, Pastor Amy here from Southgate United Methodist Church. We just spent like five minutes deciding who was going to go first. Mm -hmm. So yeah, <laughs> the fact that you're seeing the two of us in a video means it's that time. Again, it's become a thing. Uh, we've just started doing videos on together on our anniversary. So coming up May 27th is yeah, it's How it, many years? it's a really handy tradition because it gives me like a few days heads up for when our anniversary is. Uh, no, it May 27th, just for the mm -hmm. record. I can never remember how many years, though. 16 years. That requires math. 16 years. Our marriage can drive now. I know. Wow. Right? OK. <laughs> <laughs> Glad our kids can't. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, um, yeah, another thing is, you know, how they have a, the traditional gifts for every anniversary, like year one is paper and, and all kinds of uh, very practical gifts. Uh, I, I got you a 16 year traditional anniversary gift. So do you know what it is for 16 years? I have no clue. You knew this a was car, coming. Because we, our marriage can drive, <laughs> no. Okay. Oh, I wish, no. It is, it's a wax. Hip. A hip, is it a hip? Well, that's separate. It's wax. Southgate was just like So what? I got. <laughs> wow. You I are, thought about you are a creative. candle, but this came in convenient uh, strip form and, and it works this, on face too. Is this so. for, the, for the beard? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. And bikini too, but I don't know why you'd want to put it on a swimsuit. I mean, water yeah, safe, repellent safe or something? Safe gatherings, dear. Safe gatherings. I'm just reading the box. So anyway. <laughs> Happy anniversary. Thank you, dear. I got you nothing. I know. I'm I'm used to it. I got you a husband who can soon bend over and lift things again. We should say for the Southgate folks, in case you don't know, I'm about to have hip surgery. I had an accident uh, 15 years ago. No. Yeah. 15, 15 years and ago. And a half. We were married six yeah. months. And that's and actually, that. that's actually kind of what I thought I would say in this year's video. Okay. Is I, um, most couples when they are newlyweds don't experience one of them breaking a hip <laughs> uh, and not that i would wish that on anyone but like it was hard at the time like it was hard for me at the time and my first thought was oh my goodness we're newlyweds now now like we can't go off on vacations and like, <laughs> well, we were poor seminary students, too. Well, okay, so we weren't going on any big vacation. But you get what I'm saying, right? My first thought was, you know, this, this ruins this, this newlywed time before kids come and all that. But then it didn't take very long to realize that, uh, in fact, we got to spend more time with each other than we would have if I hadn't. Uh, and it drew us closer together. And I, I remember things like, uh, remember the first time we wa tried to wash my hair? <laughs> because I couldn't shower yet, so we like put towels you, down. You had grown it out by then. Yeah, I had long hair at the time. I, I was donating to Locks of Love over and over. So we lay, yeah, it gets kind of nasty when you don't wash it, right? So we laid towels down on the kitchen floor, and I think, a, and a towel over the chair, and a, like, a, like a kitchen table chair, and I like sat in the chair, and you put water on. I mean, it was. We I think were, some we, of, we some were of it so got young. under hair. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But, but it, was, it drew us close together, and I think it gave our marriage uh, a boost. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, was, it was a way in, in learn, we both had to learn early on how to ask for help, which was not easy. But that's an important lesson for any marriage, is, and, is learning how to ask for help. And, and it turns out after 16 years, a refresher is handy. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, so so that that the hip yeah. healed, but now it's deteriorated. So yeah, time and to that's a, it. they call it post-traumatic osteoarthritis. I practice that, uh, and it's not it's not unexpected, and the recovery is going to be a lot easier. the 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 first time uh, the uh, the first surgery was six weeks of being very much incapacitated. Yeah. Uh, I've heard that with hip replacements on the second day, I, I heard someone say they forgot their walker. Like they weren't being rebellious. They just got up out of habit and could and then realized they left it behind. So I, uh, it, it will still be hard and I'm still going to need help. Uh, but hey, uh, hey, we have it won't kids be like now. last time. We have kids now, so make them do stuff. Yeah, mostly we waited until now to do the surgery because school drop. I won't be able to drive for a while and school drop-offs and pickups are, are done in a week. <laughs> so that will help. Mm -hmm. uh, 
But I did get something to assist in the recovery. You know, you've got this new hip being, this new equipment being installed, right? And Does it have Bluetooth? New mechanic. Ooh, me that's something for the surgeon. Okay. Ask the surgeon if your new hip has Bluetooth. <laughs> um, but anyway, you know, a new joint undoubtedly is going to be. Um, you know, it might be What all do you stiff. have in that bag? This is my Mary Poppins bag. But to assist with a, that, that joint. <laughs> wow, you come prepared. I have to call you my tin man. <laughs> but I have a heart. You do. A brain yes. is what I need. <laughs> anyway, that, Actually, that's no, your, it's probably you. courage, but okay. <laughs> when you get home, you can put that back in the drawer where I found it. Oh, thank you, dear. You gave us the WD-40 from the drawer at home. That's very kind of you. We already had some, so... <laughs> no, that is awesome. Marriage, you know, everybody's life path takes them a different way. Uh, it turns out for me, a lot of what I, what I know and who I am, I learned from this journey and the parenting for journey, too. For better or too, for worse. But, you know, for... Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, maybe that's... Uh, here I am trying to bring it back to a lesson, you know, like in preacher mode, right? Uh -huh. But maybe that's part of what the for the worse is all about. You know, it's because it's, it's those times that are, that are worse that help us to grow to the next level, and without them, we, we might not. Yeah. I don't know. Wow, I just took that, like, deep, didn't I? You did. We've, and excuse me, because my phone is, is doing... And, and I need to tell Don't them. they know we're recording the video? Uh, clearly not. It was like buzzing in my hip. I'm like, okay, that feels weird. <laughs> I need to stop it. But anyway, leave it to me to interrupt a very nice, sentimental, heartfelt moment with For device the worst. management. For the worst, dear. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. No, it well, really is. Well, you know, it, it makes, we've made this sound like you're the invalid in this marriage, but there have been plenty of times where <laughs> I've needed your help, you know? It's just what... Yeah. What, it's yeah, it's what you do. do. It's what you do, mm -hmm. and it's good. Yeah, and having a sense of humor really helps, <laughs> especially when dealing with me. Well, I should have grabbed the other one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. You know what we didn't talk about? How we're going to end this video? If we never do. Not the marriage. We're not going to end that. It's no. the video. No, you're stuck with me. All so. right. I hope you all are well. I know I know a lot of uh, uh, Trinity folks, probably Southgate folks too, are praying for me. Pray for her. That's probably uh, more more apt. Uh, I know I'm in good hands with a good doctor, um, but I appreciate it, and I uh, I'll see you soon. I got nothing else to say. We don't know how we're going to end it. Well, I usually end it with remember that God loves you. So do I, and I'll see you Sunday. And so do I. <laughs> It's traditional to stay smiling at the camera until something awkward happens. Boom. Would have so laughed if you'd missed. You would have, yes. <laughs>